So regardless of the size of the problem, there's one thing that you can do when you're troubleshooting any problem, but I use it in electrical. This has actually helped me to troubleshoot things without actually having to be there or look at it or see it. People just uh, come to me and they give me the issue and I'll be able to this method works if you are experienced or inexperienced in electrical work. So this method works whether your problem is small or big. Are you calling me a problem? This method works even if you are in the middle of a big problem and you get stuck and you can't uh, figure it out one way or the other. It even works on those uh, seemingly small problems that you generally would think that uh, you could have figured out with uh, no problem whatsoever. And it's so easy to use that anyone, including a non-electrician, can use it. So the trick is this, just ask more questions. The idea here is to paint a picture in your mind of the problem and the system that that problem so the truth is, uh, if you use this method of troubleshooting, uh, it can actually get you out of a pinch. You might have looked at the entire system. Uh, you might, it might be something that you're familiar with already uh, that you just, you know, got stuck on. And uh, if you just use questions, uh, questions can get you out of that uh, pinch. Um, the other thing is that sometimes you might be troubleshooting something that's too big for you. Um, it might be like a system that you're not completely familiar with, just in small part. It might be a larger system than you're used to dealing with. Many times you can, you can walk yourself through uh, the system and um, figure out the problem. If you're troubleshooting something that's normally uh, quite simple or would be very simple to fix, um, or you think it should be simple to fix, you, you just kind of, uh, the, the problem just kind of eludes you for whatever reason, um, and you're not quite seeing what the issue is, uh, if you just step back for a moment, um, kind of look at the big picture and ask a few other questions. So the skill of troubleshooting applies to anything, and part of it is just asking questions and, and collecting information. So if you're good at asking questions, a lot of times you can just uh, work yourself through the process um, and find those solutions. So, uh, it's as simple as that. Ask questions. Uh, uh, just by asking questions, you could ask the, uh, the tenant or the owner or your customer or client that's having the problem uh, with the electrical issue uh, on their property. If you ask enough questions, you can determine the problem without getting your tools out or getting your hands dirty. Uh, so it's actually one of my favorite things to do. So a few examples of some questions that I might ask when troubleshooting would be questions like, how long has this problem been happening? Uh, when is the last time this worked, or how long has it been acting? When is the last time it happened? Did you change or do anything different with the wiring? Or are you seeing other bulbs or circuits or devices with the same issue? Has anyone else tried to fix it? Or when was the last time it was fixed? Is it affecting anything else? Or have you seen this problem before? Are the other devices or fixtures before or after it in the circuit working? Or, or did somebody else try to fix it? Or did somebody else do some other work around this time? Was the circuit working before this problem occurred? What else on the property doesn't work? Questions like, did someone do some work? What work did they do? What did they try to do? What did they try to fix? Was anyone else working on the property or in the circuit before this? What have you done to try to fix this problem? I think you get the idea. Many times, not all the time, many times you can fix or resolve the problem or narrow the problem down before you start tearing everything apart. These are just a few examples of some questions that I would ask either the person that's asking me to troubleshoot it or uh, questions that I might ask myself if I'm looking through uh, this system or circuit uh, as I'm troubleshooting it. So, hope it helps. I've said this before, but troubleshooting is a skill. And once you kind of develop troubleshooting as a skill, you could take it into management or even rocket science. Hope that helps with troubleshooting. Uh, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.